So this is a vacuum lifter we did for loading uh, windshields onto a skid steer. You have your up-down controls right here. You have a vacuum gauge right here. The green area of that vacuum gauge is where you know you have a safe level of lift to lift. You have the ability to rotate this thing 90 degrees. That's this pendant or this uh, butt push button right here. You have a grip release right here, which we're going to show you when we lift the part. This, this unit also comes with a anti-drop circuit. So we'll pick this thing up, we'll rotate it. And you're going to see, I'm going to hit the release button right now, but you cannot release this in midair. Um, we'll go ahead and show a little bit of the arm. We're kind of just showing how the arm moves right now. Uh, it moves very easy. I mean, I'm using less than a couple pounds of force to move this thing, stop this thing, two fingers. Uh, very easy to move around a work cell. Because you have a knuckle right there, you have the ability to get these things close to the actual column itself without you know, taking too much force. Uh, one other feature on here is called float mode. The reason this comes in handy for loading for this particular part is I can actually hit the float mode button and now I can take this windshield and physically place it wherever I want, push it down, and then release it. Uh, since we can't release it in mid air, we're going to have to go ahead and set it down. And this tool was actually coming off a rack, so you'll never actually have to bend down this low. If we, if we did have to bend down this low, we would typically use an articulated handle here. Also, a couple things. Um, you're using a vacuum saving pump and a time blow off. So your air consumption is very minimal with this tool. You're gonna hear you know, the air blow off for a few seconds once you release, and you're gonna hear the air blow for a few seconds while you're gripping. But other than that, you're not consuming air. So uh, real easy, slick tool. Um,